Paul's iOS device is a proud supporter of the It Can Wait campaign. Texting and driving, it can wait. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Paul here with Paul's iOS device and I have a jailbreak tutorial for you. This is the Evasion Jailbreak, which jailbreaks all devices running 6.0 and above. So if you have a passcode on your device, first of all, this is the first step. You've got to turn your passcode off. So you need to go to your settings, general, slide down to passcode lock, enter your passcode, and now at the top you will select turn passcode off. Now enter your passcode once again, and then let it take a little second here to turn it off. And that's the first step. The next step, obviously you'll need to back your device up. Scroll down to iCloud. Select it, scroll all the way down until you see storage and backup. Now from here, go ahead and select backup now. You have to be on a Wi-Fi network to backup via iCloud. Or if you prefer not to backup via iCloud, plug your device into iTunes and backup from there. Once your device is backed up, we are good to go to head to evasion.com. The O in evasion is a zero, by the way. This is where we're going to download the jailbreak tool. This is what we're going to be using to obviously jailbreak your device. Now you can either select Linux, Mac OS X, or Windows. I'm on a Windows machine here, so I'm going to go ahead and select Mac OS X. And now click there for the download. I've already downloaded the Evasion tool. I'm going to open it up. And then I'm going to double click on the Evasion app. Now if you're running this on a Windows machine, you're going to right click on the Evasion app and then select Run as an Administrator. Now that the window pops up, your device must be connected to your computer and identified by the Evasion window here. And the hardest part of this so far is going to be selecting Jailbreak. Now it's going to retrieve the information from the device to generate the jailbreak data as it says here. And coming up here shortly on your device, your device is going to go blank with a spinning wheel. This is perfectly normal. Once the spinning wheel is going on the evasion window, it says it's going to be waiting for your device to reboot. Now it's waiting for your device to be ready. And you will see an Apple logo, obviously, and then it'll go to the lock screen. Don't touch anything. Just let it be waiting for your device to be ready. Now it's injecting the stage 2 jailbreak data. Step 2 of 3, now 3 of 3. Now it's going to be uploading Cydia. Again, everything is hands off. After you select that jailbreak button on the user interface of this evasion window. Again, in parentheses on here it says do not touch your device. Let this run through its course. This will take roughly 10 to 15 minutes. Now you'll have the window that says to unlock your device and slide to the jailbreak app. Now select it once. Tap on it once and let it crash. And from there, it's going to inject the jailbreak data. And now your jailbreak is complete. Now again, keep hands off. The, your, uh, Get a spinning wheel here again, and your device will reboot a couple times. So again, patience. You'll be able to download your tweaks sooner than later. Just don't mess this up by touching anything or unplugging anything. Coming up pretty soon, you're going to have another Apple logo. And then after the Apple logo, you're going to get the Evasion logo with a few things that it's going to be doing is going to be patching the kernel, setting up Cydia, setting up packages. It's going to reboot again. Obviously another Apple logo. And in the meantime, you can go ahead and exit the application on your computer. Everything is on the device from now on. Now it's initializing the offsets and it's going to be patching kernels and now it's going to be cleaning up. Now again, be patient. Now it says it's done. Now it's going to continue to boot. 
Once this is done, you will be on your lock screen. And then from your lock screen, you can go ahead and slide to unlock. Again, this is going to take a little bit. It's rebooting. And now that we've got the lock screen, you can go ahead and slide to unlock. I'm going to just let it time out and then slide to unlock. Now you've got Cydia on your lock on your home screen, that is. Open that up. Now it's going to prepare the file system. I'm going to speed this up for your convenience. This does take a little while. Then it's going to reboot once more. This is the final reboot. This doesn't take as long. Now that re the reboot is done, slide to unlock. And now you've got a working Cydia on your device. Open it up. And you've got the user, hacker, developer. And below all that is all the description, descriptions on what each of them contain. I'm going to select developer and select done. Since the process of loading all of these packages, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through a lot of this for you. As soon as your packages are done downloading, at the bottom of your screen, if you have any changes, go ahead and select that. And then in the upper right hand corner, select upgrade. And then go ahead and select confirm. This is most likely just an update to the jailbreak that you've currently done. They've easily been able to add different patches in Cydia for the jailbreak. So that is the tutorial on how to jailbreak all your devices running iOS 6.0, 6.0.1, 6.0.2, and 6.1. So that was my tutorial on how to jailbreak your devices running iOS 6.0, 6.0.1, 6.0.2 and 6.1. If so, go ahead and pound that like button down below. That really helps me out. And slam that subscribe button above. That way you'll see new videos like this in your subscription box. Thanks for watching. This is Paul. God bless.